when you decide to do a hair challenge and that hair challenge includes following someone else's routines and their regimen in totality, you wanna make sure that you make note of the things that they do differently from what you normally do and your results. I'm Michelle from Financial Hair and Faith. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. In this video, what I wanna go through is I really wanna discuss the things that I noticed that are different between my regimen as a fine hair natural and Janet Davies' regimen as a thicker, more voluminous hair natural. So I've been following her routine for the month of September. I'm gonna follow it all the way to December exactly like every single thing that she does and I'm making note of what's different and I'm making note of what's the same because you know the goal is to get these inches and to in, you know increase my hair growth my my length and in order to do that you don't know where you're going so you know where you came from makes sense so Let's start with the first thing that I noticed. And I actually have this written down because I, I had to really take the time to like sit and think about what is it that she does that's different from what I do that maybe I could keep with me once I stop following her regimen and maybe what are th some things I may want to stop. The first thing is I noticed that Janet does not pre-pool. At least she doesn't pre-poo in any of her videos. I've never seen her do it. Even in our discussions, she's never mentioned doing a pre-poo. So that's one thing that I noticed that is different. Me, I like to pre-poo my hair. I actually love pre-pooing my hair. And, but you know, because I'm following her routine, I just, I don't do it right now. Cleansing her hair. She uses shampoo, obviously Omen or Natural shampoo. What I used to do is I would alternate between cleansing my hair with a shampoo and cleansing my hair with a cleansing conditioner, like as I am coconut co-wash, for example. But now I am strictly shampooing. The third thing that I do that I noticed that she doesn't do, and I don't think that this necessarily has, well, it, was, it, won't ha it obviously doesn't have an impact on her hair, but for mine is when I detangle my hair, I typically use gloves. So I'm not using gloves right now, so I'm really careful to make sure my nails are manicured. Uh, my gloves are kind of like my security blanket, but so far so good. I have not had any issues not wearing the gloves, but when the routine is over, once I'm done following all of her routines, I am definitely going to return to using gloves just because I like it. I even think it makes my detangling, even though the Omenera Naturals um, tangle, tangle Slayer is awesome at taking out my tangles, I think it's even more effective when I do it using gloves. Is that a bug outside my window? Like for real, I hate bugs. This next one is a big one. One thing that Janet does that I never used to do, and I'm doing it now, but I don't think I'm going to continue doing it because I don't think my hair needs it, is what she would do is she would do the wash, conditioning and all that stuff. And she would do her styling on the next day. So she would finish up with applying her leave-in conditioner, no sealant, because she's going to use a Revere to dry her hair and you cannot use oil in your hair before revving it. So what she would do is she'd wash, you know, she'd condition her hair, um, rinse that out, and then she'd put the leave-in and she'd put her hair in either two big braids or one braid. And then overnight, let it kind of like dry some. Then the next day she'd go in and she'd rev it to stretch it out. Now she does have another routine, which I won't talk about in this video, but the reason I'm following her regimen over the next three months is she actually has pretty much three different staple routines that she does for her hair. So next month we'll talk about that one and that's the one I'm going to do. In this video, we're talking about what specifically applies to when she stretches her hair out and she does twists. Well, that's one thing that she does. She puts it in two braids and then the next morning when she gets up, she takes it out and then she revs it. So that's something that I did, you know, did not do before. When I would do my hair, one, I always would just like either twist it or braid it wet hair and then that's it. And the next day I would just do a braid out, twist out or whatever. So that's what varies. I actually like how she's doing a two-step process because it kind of also cuts down on the overwhelm of having to do your hair. And so the next thing that is different from my fine hair, how I managed it and, and have been taking care of it is I almost never blue dry my hair that often. Like maybe once in a month, during the summer months, for sure, I never touched the dryer. 
Janet uses it all the time to kind of like stretch her hair out. And you know, her, her thing is stretched hair is the best hair. Not saying it's better than, but it just helps to cut down on knots and tangles. And I wholeheartedly agree with that one. It's fall now as of the recording of this video. And when I tell you guys that I am loving how, like this is a stretched braid out. I don't typically love braid outs. I prefer twist outs, but as it relates to braids and twists, you know what, I'm not gonna go into that. That's gonna be another video. This is a braid out and this is stretched hair and I don't get any tangles, any knots, anything. It's just, it is really, really, really great. Another thing that Janet does that I was not doing and this part of her regimen or her routine, I am not doing because I don't feel the need to. She, and this is not a huge thing. This is not actually the managing of the hair per se. She keeps scissors handy to snip out any knots that may occur, you know, or any tangles that she comes across that can't be unknotted while she, after, you know, after she's washed and deep conditioned her hair and it's like still got uh, conditioner and things like that in it. But for me, I just noticed that while I'm keeping my hair stretched, when I go to wash it and use the Tangle Slayer, I just don't have knots. I, I, I don't have any knots at all. So my hair also does not shrink as much as her hair shrinks because I have a slightly looser curl pattern. I just don't get the tangles and the knots that I would get, you know, just from simply washing my hair. Typically the time that I would get knots is if I did a wash and go. Now that's a whole nother ball game. So another thing that I didn't really used to do was scalp massages with the shampoo. I did scalp massages, but those were typically things I would do at night. One thing I know that she started doing or that she's been doing is she massages her scalp with the shampoo in it because the Omenera Natural Shampoo does have like hair growth herbs in it. I think that's probably the reason why, but she uses the like, you know, the, um, that <laughs> and I I am loving the results. I feel like my scalp is so clean. It's so healthy. It's breathing. It's giving, you know, my hair a chance to really flourish thing. And the final thing that I know this is different from my regimen as a fine hair natural and Janet Davies regimen is that she does what I like to call cycling her hairstyles. So what she does that's totally different from me in the styling department is she does what I like to call cycling her hairstyles. And by that, I mean, and I did a, like a reel of this on Instagram that people were kind of like interested in because it was like called cycle hairstyling, where she would, after she would set her braids and her twist, she or twist, she would just let them be for like days on end and then take it out for two days, maybe three, typically two for a braid out or a twist out. And then it goes right back into setting those braids or twists. Cycle it again in a few days. And this just process just goes on until wash day. The way I was doing it was typically because I washed my hair weekly and not every two or three weeks, I would just, you know, whatever style I've set upon doing for the week is the style I wore for the week. So let's say I wanted to do a braid out or a twist out, typically not a braid out because I don't love those, but let's say I just do a twist out. I would do a twist out and then I would, you know, rock the twist out until it did not look good anymore. I would put it up at night and then that's it. If it didn't look good anymore and I still wasn't quite so wash day, I would just throw it back in like a bun or something like that. So the styling piece of it is very, very different from the way I do it. And I'm actually loving her way better because again, back to the whole stretched hair is the best hair statement. I found that when I used to do my hair like wet twist outs, wet occasional braid outs, any kind of like wet set style there was a lot of shrinkage um one i didn't get to realize the length that i was gaining and two i would still kind of get like tangles not so much the knots as long as i had it like twisted but like the, just the amount of shrinkage that i would get was just too much it for my fine hair that it really you know just caused me to have more tangles which you know fine you know tangles happen whatever i would detangle it very very carefully but I love this whole cycle styling thing. And while I, like I said before, I think this is like a very boring way of styling your hair. No disrespect, because it's all about retaining length. And she's a lazy natural, professed, and she just loves to retain length. So 
I get it. I, I get it. I am definitely going to keep this part, but I'm not going to do it all the time because I do like to try other hairstyles. So once I'm done with this whole regimen and I'm, I'm finished, you know, following and, and seeing what my results are, the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm simply just going to like, when I'm not doing that cycle styling process, I may do a protective style where I wash my hair and I do it like, you know, I've seen some braid styles that I wanted to do with like larger braids or very few braids that I want to do. And I will set those with like gel or whatever and then tie my hair down until next wash day. And then it'll be what it is. But this way of styling the hair, I think is really great for retaining length. And so it is definitely going to stay with me. I'm just not going to limit myself to just doing that because I do like to try other hairstyles from time to time. I just won't make trying those hairstyles too often. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you found it informative. And if you are participating with me in following Janet's regimen, because I did invite some of you guys to come along with me, let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you tomorrow for our live prayer. We haven't done it for a couple of months, you know, mainly summer and just busy and just running and enjoying life. But it's time to get back to business of praying and just shaking up the kingdom of darkness. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you in my next video. God bless you. I'll see you.